I was born a man named Corey. Apparently, I got a sex change at 18, and I told MTV that. After Iggy Azalea was nominated for a Grammy but lost out to Eminem, but did pick up an American Music Award for Favorite Rap and Hip Hop Artist in 2014. This award is the first award I've ever won in my entire life. It means so much to me that it is for Best Hip Hop, because that's what inspired me to move to America and pursue my dreams. After Iggy Azalea would drop bangers including Fancy, Problems, Beg For It, Booty, and more. Who's this hottie? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After Iggy Azalea would get a drink thrown at her by another up-and-coming female white rapper. That what drink you, did you throw at her? It was what? just water. It was just water? Yes, it was just water. And what happened? Like, did she stop no, up to you? What did Iggy do? Iggy Azalea has managed to continue to make headlines since her massive rise to fame back in 2014 off of her hit song Fancy. But I'm gonna be real with you guys, not all the headlines have been for the best of reasons. Now there were claims of her use of a black scent, and even rumors that she was transgender. I have to paint my entire face on and tuck my penis so it takes a while. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Isn't By the way, crazy? she's not a man, guys. People started calling her Igloo Australia, and she got into many public feuds with other rappers, including Azalea Banks. Then there was also a massive meme movement where they compared her to the characters from White Chicks, and then Danielle Bergoli went and threw a cup of water at her at a recent Fashion Nova event. By the way, I'm wearing Fashion Nova men's. Now there's also been tons of body shaming and questions if her derriere was the work of her genetics or by a doctor. I'll let you be the judge. I love seeing what your butt really looks like in real life. Just let all those haters know. Yeah, this video is probably gonna go and get demonetized. Now, Iggy did admit to getting her upper half done in 2015, and this leads us to her recent GQ photo leak, but we'll get into that a little later in this video. Hit that like button if you've seen the pics. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Michael McCredden, documenting the life and career of Iggy Azalea after the leak of her nudes, here for you on After They're Famous, or whatever the hell we decide to title this video. Now, we've dropped a few other videos in our After series, including the Aftermath of James Charles, and even an After They're Famous on Little Old Me. Now, if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe, show some love by hitting that post notification bell, and uh, I'll see you guys after the intro. Oh yeah, also let us know who to document next. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Amethyst Amelia Kelly was born on June 7th, 1990 in Sydney, Australia. Now she mostly grew up in the countryside but loved listening to American hip hop and after a trip to the States before her 16th birthday, well she decided to stay there permanently. Amethyst, she did what she had to to get by as she moved around from state to state. She spent time in Miami before eventually settling in LA where she began modeling and recording music. It wasn't until her video for work went viral in 2013 that a lot of people took note of her bodacious talent. She even made it onto the freshman list and was crowned the next Tupac by the head of Interscope Records. But comparisons like this, they upset a lot of people, especially after a few videos went viral of her rapping like this. There were also some slavery references brought up in her mixtape, Ignorant Art. And the girl from Australia, well, she does know a thing or two about slavery. I mean, it's a country bred on British exiles. But, you know, I'll cut her some slack. I just don't think everyone online was so forgiving. Every accomplishment made by Iggy Azalea was met with backfire from other urban artists and online haters. When she was announced as the first ever female entry into the 2012 XXL freshman list, well, people weren't happy. People dug up old deleted tweets that were deemed racist and homophobic. They began citing her rap style as using a black scent. And, uh, well, she did get some help from T.I. He was the executive producer for her EP Glory. And it was her track work and later Fancy. Well, that launched her career to new heights. But no matter how many hit songs she put out or awards she was nominated for, well, everyone continued to shit on her career. As people were trying to decide whether Iggy was a real rapper or just a well-branded pop star, well, she stumbled on a freestyle during her appearance on Sway in the Morning. And she delivered a pre-written verse instead. That shit's f***ing trash, dog. Get the f*** off the airwaves. In 2014, she was nominated for four Grammys from her track Fancy. And she shocked everyone when she was up for the best rap album along with Eminem, Common, Wiz Khalifa, and Childish Gambino. Now, Iggy was relieved when Eminem beat her out, knowing that a win would only be bad news for her. 
Now, as the world seemed to be coming down on the young rapper, her boo, Nick Young, well, he was the one of few people she could turn to during these tough times. They decided to escape on a vacation, but upon their return, well, she saw someone had posted a pic of her in a bikini, and it showed a little bit of cellulite. And uh, yeah, well, the internet, of course, they had something to say. In July of 2015, her and Nick, they announced their engagement, which was called off a year later when Iggy caught him bringing home other women on their home security camera. Damn, poor girl really can't catch a break. With her career in shambles and her work visa about to expire, well, Iggy, she became suicidal. She would drive out to a ranch and ride her horses to help unwind and to keep her on track. Now, there were whispers of new albums and tours, but things just kept falling apart. She did do some collabs with the likes of Britney Spears, Demi Lovato, and helped Tyga with the biggest comeback of 2018 with his track Cream. She was also the judge on the eighth season of the Australian version of The X Factor. We didn't hear much from Iggy for a couple of years, that is until she attended a Fashion Nova event out in Los Angeles. Yikes, this is what happened. If you're curious how this beef all started, well, apparently it was the 15 year old who threw the first punch. With her debut single, High Bitch, well, she rapped the lyrics. Bitch, don't compare me to Iggy. That old hoe is washed up and I'm lit. Wouldn't pay her to wash up my whip. Bye, bro. Bitch. Bye, ho. Aw, oh, come on, for what? I mean, Iggy was just minding her own business. Then on Instagram, Iggy made a casual remark about Bad Baby's upcoming concert. She commented if a friend was gonna go, to which Cash Me Outside spotted this, so she chimed in. She wrote, You should come would be good memory for you of what a sold out show looks like. Again, Iggy did very little. But uh, when the two crossed paths at a Fashion Nova event, well, Bad Baby, she decided to throw a cup full of water. For whatever reason. I get that this little girl has made a name for herself acting a damn fool on television and online, but I'm a grown up. I'm not about to waste my energy on that shit. I'll be fighting a kid in a club. Come on. To be fair, I think Iggy handled this one with a lot of grace. She's like, I'm a grown woman. This girl's on the Dr. Phil show. She's like, I don't know what's happening, but I'm not interested. And bad baby. I guess she's just doing it for the clout. Or I don't know, she's just angry at everyone. I heard she hates me. All right, we're finally getting to the part of the video you all clicked on to hear about. Now, as I mentioned above, Iggy, she opted for surgery in 2015, and she was very public with her decision. She told Vogue magazine, I did change something. Four months ago, I got bigger boobs. I thought about it my entire life. It's about proportion. I've had to have everything tailored because I have such a small waist. I'm a two or a zero on the top and a six on the bottom. It was the following year while working with another magazine, GQ, where Iggy took some nude photos that lay dormant for a number of years until they finally hit the web. Now they were allegedly stolen from the Australian photographer who took the pics. Now a lot of people, they probably never would have seen these. And Iggy, she turned off her social media accounts. But then, she just had to, she tweeted out. And that's when everyone really took a gander. There was no reason for anyone to have kept the outtakes from the shoot. I'm surprised and angry that they were not immediately deleted after the final images were selected. Today, I'm a ball of negative emotions. I feel blindsided, embarrassed, violated, angry, sad, and a million other things. Not solely because I did not consent to this, but also because of the vile way people have reacted. A lot of the comments I see from men in particular taking things further and sharing their thoughts and fantasies in regards to my body has honestly disturbed me. The outright wicked things people say is overwhelming and makes me feel like throwing up. That's not all. She had more to say. It's like a nuclear bomb that explodes and not only destroys you emotionally, but leaves a path of destruction in your personal life, affecting your relationships and people who matter most too. I fully intend on finding out where the leak originates from and pressing criminal charges in regards to this. It's important to me that someone actually be held accountable for their actions and the way it impacts my life. I don't feel there's anywhere I can retreat to or that I have a happy place. I can wait in until it all blows over. Please think of how you might feel if the shoe was yours to wear. I've seen some really vicious shit written in the last 24 hours and it's too much negativity for me to handle. For now, it's best to keep my accounts deactivated. At the time of this recording, Iggy's Instagram and Twitter, they remain deactivated. And the photographer, he's released a statement. His name is Nino Munez and he spoke out that he's both outraged and saddened. Now on the flip side, interest in Iggy Azalea is red hot with her currently pulling in more Google search traffic than ever before. Well, at least, you know, since she put out Fancy. Now, uh, this does come at a good time with her second studio album titled In My Defense. Well, it's ready to hit shelves. 
And uh, well, it leaves me with one question. Was this a publicity stunt or an invasion of privacy? You decide in the comments down below. I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say. All right, guys, we're wrapping up this episode of After They Were Famous on the good old Iggy Azalea. My heart actually goes out to her. You know, she's like the Eminem of hip hop, but got it way worse. What are you gonna do? Ah, and the internet, it's harder these days. Everyone's got something to say. Anyways, guys, be sure to check out these other videos we've picked for you. There's the aftermath of James Charles and an after they're famous on good old Michael Bukrudin. In here, I tell you guys some stuff that's been going on with this channel. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in another video.